Hello QGIS viewers, in this video I will show you a quick uh, problem I solved uh, recently concerning PDF import in uh, Photoshop, AutoCAD and uh, insert it in, in QGIS. This is the raw AutoCAD file, you can see the images here which I want to insert in my QGIS layouts. But the problem is that uh, all of these uh, vectors when exported to PDF have uh, some lines and uh, show incorrectly. I will show you how to correct it. First, exporting. Uh, we need to create a viewport from this. And I've done this already. I will show you the, the viewports I created. These are the same uh, blocks with the point symbols. And uh, here we have a layout for a3 international paper and uh, I will go to print I use Boozit PDF printer and uh, uh, let's say we export it with regular settings and uh, we get this menu and I will export it. A3 exports basic open the document and you will see what the problem is this is the problem, for, of course it is rotated for unknown reasons but if we zoom in if we zoom in you can see that the resolution is very low and uh, notice that the hedges are very well shown but if I the regular settings are different I just change it in my Adobe Acrobat viewer the regular settings uh, look uh, like this Your preferences page display and this thing is uh, turned on and you will see the difference immediately you see it tries to smooth it but uh, unsuccessfully and uh, the PDF is shown with these lines this is the regular setting if you want to correct it if you open PDFs exported with AutoCAD or any other vector program and you have these lines you need to go to edit preferences and uh, go to page display and unmark this and it will show correctly but the next problem is the resolution you can see that uh, some texts have uh, relatively bad resolution and uh, the images as well I want to make it better it's uh, by default uh, 300 dpi um, and I want to correct it that's why when exporting the PDF file I again click on it printer and uh, I will go to the properties custom properties and advanced and here we can specify exactly the print code let's say we want not it not to be 60 uh, 600 but um, 2400 and again we save this save as a temporary and export it and you will see the difference of course the file will be bigger but later when we crop it we will reduce the size of it I will call it A3 export better the file size is uh, roughly 50% bigger but you can see the difference it's, uh, I'm looking at the curves in the letters and uh, in the pictures it's much smoother so this is one thing when exporting Another thing is when uh, you want to convert it to to an image to be imported in the layout. First things first, let's check the layout. This is the layout and I've imported it as an image. But if we try to import the PDF, we load it. Okay. We don't have an option. You, you see we have export as PDF but we don't have import PDF because basically here everything is already rasterized and uh, that's why we need to convert this PDF into an image simply drag it and paste it like this and now I will show you another problem which uh, I solved uh, today um, let's say you want to import the whole PDF but usually this is uh, turned on until unlaced so the import is done but if I zoom in if I zoom in, see, 
a little bit more, you see it's evident the same problem which I mentioned in the PDF viewer uh, option. It tries to smooth it out and uh, creates these lines. And if we export it to image later, the image will have these uh, defects, these uh, bad uh, traits as well, these flaws. So to correct that, I will remove this file from Photoshop and uh, I will import again. But this time I will not mark this until last and you will see the difference. Perfect. And now to import it in your layout in QGIS, you simply need to file, save as and uh, simply save it. Random file and uh, we simply go to the QGIS layout and go to import image. This one we specify the boundary and show where the image is located. And here it is. It's loading. And uh, now we can of course rotate this and so on. But you can see that the PDF is uh, showing really well. That's how to import PDFs and to correct them using Photoshop and basic AutoCAD PDF print. Thanks for watching and uh, keep up the good work despite the worldwide coronavirus crisis. Nicole Wallace from Addisoft signing off.